Hey, what's up? Hello, y'all. Welcome back to the Complicated Entertainment Channel. If you are new to the channel, what's up? Um, you should have been here, so go ahead and subscribe. Um, if you are watching after this point and you're, you are new, you should be subscribed by, by this point. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to give you about two seconds. One, two. You're late. Subscribe. If you're not new, welcome back to the channel, y'all. I love you so much. I love you so much. Um, let's go ahead right into today's video. Moving on to Megan Thee Stallion. It seems like Megan Thee Stallion's Hot Girl Summer Tour has now sold over 95.73%. Okay, apparently her tour is allegedly sold out. Okay, over 271,000 tickets out of 280,000 tickets are sold. Okay, uh, apparently, you know, she's going crazy with these shows. All right. I mean, she's doing the arena venues. Okay. Um, yeah. Her Houston show was 100% sold out. Okay. Um, and it seems like people are really excited to see her on tour. Okay. That's apparently what's going on here now. Um, people feel like these stats are fake. Yeah. Um, low key, they feel like these stats are not real. They feel like these stats are just, you know, inflated. All right, just to make it seem like she's more popular than what she already is. Because as you all know, but her music numbers has not been matching up to these tour um, numbers at all. Okay, people are just like, where are y'all getting these numbers from? Because like no venue is coming out and saying, oh, we're sold out. Nobody's saying that. Okay, nobody's running around saying that. Um, you know, you sold all these tickets, but nobody's posting any tickets of them like getting it like nobody's talking about them getting a ticket like nobody's talking about this tour okay and for your tour to almost be sold out it's kind of fishy like mm. it just give me like sardine it's just fishy like what's tea with that okay i don't know um but they are trying to say that it is you know what i'm saying weird and it's like the stats are fake now low-key i don't think the stats are fake i think the stats are real I think that she definitely sold out. I mean, if the price of a ticket is my Chipotle bowl, of course it's sold out. Okay, of course. All right. Now, I don't know if people who are going to go there, if they all, you know, spend only $24 for their ticket. I'm pretty sure they didn't. Okay. But what I'm saying is that, you know, these stats, I mean, they could be fake. Don't get me, don't, don't get me wrong. They could be fake. But I kind of feel like it, it's real because the price point is just like, with the price point, she's basically performing for free. Okay, she's basically performing for free. Um, and I say that because, you know, you, the numbers are already low. And think about it. When you go on tour, you're not the only person getting the money. Okay, you have a whole rock of people who have to get, get their cut as well. Okay, um, so, you know, we're going to see. Okay, we're going to see. Um, people are also trying to give Glorilla the credit for it, you know, being so successful. Um, Glorilla sold 12 album sales within the last month. How are we going to credit her ass for anything? Okay, no. It ain't Glorilla. Okay, let's stop trying to be delusional. Glorilla, <laughs> her, her mixtape is flopping. Her mixtape is flopping bad, okay? Um, so let's not do that weird one, all right? Um, I feel like these stats could be fake. They could be real. But if they are real, I'm not surprised because the tickets are only $5, okay? All right, them tickets are cheaper than my niece's McDonald's Happy Meals. I promise you. I promise my <laughs> on my soul. On my soul, Okay. Uh, but yeah, how you feel about that? Let's discuss down below. Do you all feel like these stats are fake? Do you all feel like the stats are fake? Um, let's get into it. Let's get into it. Moving on to Tyler. Moving on to Tyler. Apparently, Miss Tyler is getting herself a Fortnite deal. Yeah, she's getting herself a deal with Fortnite um, where they're going to be adding her song, Truth or Dare, all right, to the game in terms of, like, you know, having it as a dance. So, like, you know, in video games, you can, like, emote and, like, dance. Like, yeah, so your character will be able to do the Tyler dance to Truth or Dare. Um, so, it seems like Tyler is getting herself into that mainstream bag, okay? I love this for her. Um, now, this is cool, um, you know, but low-key, I feel like this is boring. I feel like if they wanted to do, like, a dance, like, the dance for the song is boring, like, it's a little like one two shoulder movement but it's like it didn't really gag me i saw the video online i'm like okay this is boring what they should have did was put that water dance on there okay when she was you know what i'm saying doing that like leg twerk whatever that would be fun i mean yeah it's a kid's game but like no shade you know like it's like it's not it's an innocent twerk it wasn't like she was throwing that ass like it was like a little like leg bob it was a, it was a leg bob yeah so i feel like low-key they should have just put the water dance in there um, that would have been more, you know, engaging and fun. But I guess her label is trying to push the Truth or Dare song a bit more and get that coin and, you know, milk that song for every money that it needs to get from it. Because, you know, low key, you know, Truth or Dare, you know, I think Truth, Truth or Dare is a better song compared to Water. But if we're going to put the song, you know, these songs in games, I think Water would make more sense. Okay, no, no shade. Uh, but she does have a new song 
out called ART Art, and it's really, really good. You know, I think her music is definitely, um, it has grown on me a lot. I liked her music, but now I really do love it, okay? And the fact that she's getting these deals, you know, I, I love to see her team working overtime for her, okay? Because a lot of these girls out here, they're going to be fading away soon, Ice. They're going to be fading away, Spice. You know, they're going to be fading away because they don't do the right things to be able to keep putting your artists in front of people. A lot of them just do a song, a little video, Instagram content, and think that people are going to be engaged into your art. Bitch, we don't give a fuck about you. We don't care about you. Okay, have your team get you some, you know, game deals. Okay, I think Chloe needs to take some. Chloe's team needs to take some notes from Tyler's team. Okay, why is Tyler, who just came here less than a year ago, in terms of the mainstream United States market, why is she doing better than Chloe, who's been here since what, 2021? All right, and her career is popping off more because her team knows how to move. Okay, she's getting game deals and bags. How you signed to Beyonce's label and you? can't even get the same exposure as these new girls that's the problem that's a big problem so um tyler's team was doing really really good i'm proud of her um but no shade that the fact that the whole tour thing didn't work out well that kind of pissed me off okay allegedly she's injured and stuff um i'm not saying i'm not trying to be insensitive but it's like all right girl okay everybody needed everybody all of a sudden everybody got an excuse when the tour come around oh i i, I had to um go to my daughter's game and then i found out that uh, her leg broke, and then I had to go and get. Uh, it's like, all right, y'all have all these excuses, okay? Didn't Anita Baker cancel her tour the night before? Like, what's wrong with these people? I don't know what's going on, y'all. Like, y'all be making me want to cry, okay? Um, child, I was looking my grandma was taking to that show. Not no more, not the fuck no more, okay? Cause what? Like, why y'all can't? Okay, I feel like shows should not be canceled within twenty four hours. Within twenty four hours, no. Okay, but two days in advance. Okay, I can see if it's obvious an emergency. Cool, cool, right? But if you're canceling shows like the same day, that's weird. You you had a commitment to do a show, do the show. Okay, I don't care if you're sick. If you, if you really care about your fans, you're gonna go on stage and perform. If you have the cold, now if you have the flu or anything else, like you know real serious, okay, stay home. But some light little on my throat hurting. Okay, bitches, go on stage with your throat hurting. The fuck? Nobody told you to be sucking dick last night anyway. Let's move on to this next topic. Moving on to this next topic, y'all. Nicki Minaj has now completed the U.S. leg of her world tour. She has sold over 36 shows across the United States of America. Wow, wow, wow. Dang. This makes her the highest, most gross female rapper to ever go on tour in history. That's crazy. It's really over. Like, I mean, I knew it was going to be over, but the time has been flying. Like... I feel like she just went on tour. Like, low-key, I feel like she literally just got on tour. I feel like she literally touched down, all right, in um, Inglewood. Was that Inglewood? It was California. It was something. But yes, yeah, it was Oakland. Oakland, Oakland. Yes, I was like, damn. But yeah, so look, so that means that, you know, that means that, that means that she probably has earned about over 70 to 80 million dollars. Now, the final numbers have not come out yet in terms of how much she has made from the U.S. leg. Okay, I'm sorry, from the um, North American leg of the tour. But it's some, somewhere around 70, 80. Some people are saying it's 100 million. I don't think it's 100 million. I think it's about 70, 80, 90 million. Okay, because that's about, she averaged about $2 million a night. Okay, and 36 times 2, that's around, you know, 87, 90 type. You know what I'm saying? 90, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Now, average does not mean that every show is 2 million. It means that on... You, you, you know what average means, okay? It means some show was 2 million. Majority... I don't have to fucking explain basic math to y'all. Y'all know what the fuck is going on. But, yeah. um, This means that she's going to be now going over to Europe and doing shows over there. Now, um, her going over there is great. It's cool. But low key, though, um, she needs to come back to America again. Okay? Uh, yeah. And I feel like low key... Um, if you're gonna go on tour, baby, you need to go on tour again pretty soon. Yeah, I know you. I know you have a family. I know you do, baby. I know, I know, I know. But you know, when I say soon, I don't mean next year. I mean like about in like two years. Okay, give yourself a year off, and then drop a new album and come back out. Okay, because we need you again. All right. Um, but you know, I'm pretty sure she's gonna have some shows in America pretty soon. Um, you know, she maybe do some more festivals. She may do some more. You know what I'm saying? Um, jingle balls. You know, so I'm pretty sure she'll be back for sure. Okay, but moving on, though, I want to go ahead and talk about the um, Cowgirl song. Cowgirl is currently, um, you know, expecting to get a push. All right. Um, they're trying to make that the next single from the Pink Friday 2 era, Cowgirl. Um, you know, currently, you know, there's a big push to buy the song. 
Uh, there's a big place to stream the song as well. So, you know, they trying to make Cowgirl the next big hit off the album. Now, no shade. I feel like Cowgirl should be a hit. I mean, I feel like that, if anything, that song has the sound of a hit. That has the sound of, you know, just, it's a really big sounding song. Um, now, they trying to get this number one. Mm, Taylor Swift is out. Taylor Swift is out right now. So, I, I'm not going to say she can't get number one, but, I, you know, we going to, aim for that i'm not saying the barbs can't people taylor swift but like no shade but taylor swift fans they're a whole nother level like they they're a little bit you know some screws is loose in their brains when it comes to that support for taylor it's like they will literally sell their children sell their mothers and fathers to go to a taylor swift concert yeah it's kind of insane okay they will literally chop off a finger and sell it for 20 bands just to be front row at Taylor Swift's concert. So, you know, competing with Taylor Swift fans, it's not impossible, but it's going to be real hard, okay? So, I don't know, but they are trying to get this on Cowgirls number one. And I support it. Like, y'all know I support, but I'm also going to be real here. I don't know if it's going to hit number one because Taylor Swift is out right now. I told y'all already. I told y'all. I told you She just dropped the album. And the thing about Taylor Swift's label and team is, it like, she's making a lot of money right now, okay? So, they're going to do everything in their power to milk her Puss down all right now they're gonna get every dollar out of, out of taylor swift they're gonna get every single dollar out of taylor swift and they're gonna make sure that you know they're gonna make her win so um yeah that's a t with that that's a t on that that's a t on that what's your opinion let's discuss down below let's talk let's talk let's talk okay how do y'all feel about um the tour being over <laughs> oh my god um and how do you feel about um getting cowgirl to number one let's discuss can we get her her fourth billboard number one okay Let's move on to this next topic. Moving on, Carisha is being called out for exploiting gay people, okay? Um, after she has said that she's going to beat the gay out of her son if she ever found out that he was gay, okay? Carisha is now doing LGBTQ campaigns for her brand, Carisha Please, all right? And she's trying to milk money out of the LGBTQ, LGBTQ community after she's homophobic, okay? And she's put out many homophobic tweets online. Um, girl, if you said you're going to beat your son for being gay and you said you're going to beat him bad, why would you go online acting like you just, you know, you just this LGBT supporter and you just love everything that they do? You're weird. Okay. That's why I don't take Carisha seriously because, you know, she doesn't have any real backbone. Okay. What the fuck? Where ha what happened to you standing on what you said? If you're going to beat your son for being gay, don't be out here trying to make money from the LGBT community. That's weird. Like, you're just weird, okay? Now, granted, she did say this, say this tweet a long time ago, okay? But she never cleared it up and addressed it. I mean, yeah, she did, but it was some BS response. And then Carisha claims that she's going to be donating funds to the LGBT charity. Girl, that's some bullshit. You're taking all that money, all right, and you're going to keep it to yourself. You know why? Because Diddy, okay, you know, he ain't giving you no more allowance in, anymore, right? He's locked up. Or he's somewhere. I don't know what the fuck he's doing, but he's somewhere doing something, okay? Um, and you got to be out here trying to figure out how you can get your next your next uh, Chanel bag. All right. Yeah, you yeah, yeah, you can't ride that man dick no more for a Chanel bag, boo. You got to go here and get it. So she's out here scamming the gay community um, after she has been homophobic publicly for many years. OK, but she had a gay best friend, Santana, the whole time. But she only used Santana just to help make herself look like she's not homophobic the whole time. She's homophobic. It's just weird. Okay, I think homophobic women are worse than homophobic men because think about homophobic men. Okay, we know you gay, bitch. We we know you gay, but homophobic homophobic women, it's so much hate behind that. It's so much hate behind that. It's like why are you like that, you know? But she got famous when that rebrand herself, act like she's so nice and you know sweet. Where you still dumb as a doorknob, chasing behind that creepy dick ditty. And you still homophobic. And I'm not buying your Carisha Please anything, okay? That freaky ass um, drinking game. Girl, you nasty. The questions on that card, baby, my friends put that game at a party or whatever. They had to put that shit up. Why? We're not We're not going to be licking balls and titties um, over a, a game. That's silly. I mean, we have class. Like, you know, we a little classy over here, all right? We don't get into those activities, especially, like, friends, like, I don't think friends should be sitting around playing games that involve them licking coochie lips. So, no. I will not be supporting anything revolving uh, Carisha or your Miami or anything with her name on it. All right? I just can't do it. Um, it's just... I just can't. I just... I don't know. I just... I... I, I, I uh, JT, where you at, boo? Where you at? Moving on to our next topic, y'all. It seemed like Doja Cat 
Um, and Sweetie finna get into a new collab. Okay, so apparently, as you all know, Sweetie, she's been teasing her new song. Ooh, got that nani nani nani. Her new song, Nani. Okay, Nani. All right. <sighs> like, girl, like, why do we keep making songs about Gucci? It's getting played out. Where's your intelligence? Where's your smartness? Like, why are we making songs called Nani? Girl. So, allegedly, the word on the street is that Doja Cat is going to be hopping on that song. Okay? Um, they feel like Doja Cat is going to be the girl to, um, you know, help Sweetie out. Now, no shade. The last song that they released together was um, Best Friend. Okay, now, Best Friend was cute. It was cool, but no shade. But, like, Best Friend came out when Doja Cat was kind of popping when she first started popping. And, Do and the Doja Cat and Sweetie Best Friend song, it was mostly successful due to the fact Doja Cat was on it. You know, like, Sweetie's part never really went viral on social media like that. You know, and I feel like low-key, Doja Cat does not need to be on um, this Nani song. First off, it don't match her current aesthetic, okay? Number two, Sweetie needs to learn how to get it for herself. Sweetie does not need to be out here relying on Doja Cat's fame to get her another hit, okay? No. All right, I understand, sweetie, your last hit was Best Friend, but you can't reuse Doja Cat again for another hit, girl. You, yeah, you got to get it out the mud, okay? Yep, I know your label is kind of shelving you and shit, and nobody likes your music, and nobody takes you seriously, but you're going to have to get it out the mud, boo, okay? So, no, I'm not here for this Doja Cat and Sweetie collab. Uh, I don't want that. I don't want to hear that, okay? I mean, if you want to hear it, that's cool. That's great, but I'm going to bash you for wanting to hear it. <laughs> no shade. But low key though. Um, I don't even believe that Doja Cat and Sweetie would ever do a song again together because like they just, their brands don't align anymore. Like back when they'd made the best friend song, they kind of had that like similar aesthetic, you know, girly, fun, cute. Oh yeah. Wigs and hair and nails. But now it's like, how are you going to collaborate with, um, a damn a demon and Sweetie? It just won't, it won't add up. You know, it won't be, it won't really be, you know, meshing well. If you know what I mean, okay? If you know what I mean. But yes, let's discuss down below. Would you all be interested in hearing um, Doja Cat on the Nani song? Um, Sweetie's new song that she's been teasing. Let's get into it. Let's get into it, okay? Uh, yeah, let's move on to this next song. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Um, Ice Spice's team, okay, has gotten her um, some, you know, some Metro cards. Okay. Um, so, you know, in New York or whatever... Um, they have a fair. Okay, cool. And, you know, Ice Spice's face and picture is going to be on the cars for 50,000 limited people. Ooh, okay. Um, and people are so excited and happy about this. Why are you excited about this? Why are you excited? Why are you happy? Um, this is a waste of time and money. Um, why are we doing this? What's the point? I don't get it. How is this helping the world anyway? Um, I'm pretty sure in New York, there's so many more things that need to be worried about and fixed and established and addressed than fucking Ice Spice on your damn card. That's not going to solve anything in this world. I'm sorry. I'm being real here. I mean, yeah, you know, it's her team doing great things to get her out there. I mean, yeah, it's, it's cool. It's great. I guess it's nice. But we need to go ahead and, you know, worry about other things. All right. Um, this is just not, a, not a, it's not important. I just, I just, it's silly to me. It's just so silly to me. And low key, they're saying that it gives desperate. Like, they're saying this promotion kind of gives desperate. It gives like they try to do outside of the box, but it gives desperate. But they're also trying to say that they're trying to use Ice Spice as a way for people to pay the fare. All right. Cause you know, people, it's a lot of fare invasion in the city. Okay. Um, and they're basically saying that, you know, people pay. All right. They're going to be incentive, incentivized by getting an Ice Spice car. All right. So, you know, people feel like, okay, this is going to boost sales or whatever. Um, I guess that's cool too, but I just think all around it's just dumb. It's just, it's just, it, it's just, it's just dumb. It's just dumb to me. Um, yeah, y'all can say what you want. I'm not gonna sit up here and argue with you. I'm gonna, if I argue with you, I'm gonna let you know that I'm right. But, um, yeah, I don't, I'm just not a fan of it. This marketing tactic is kind of weak to me. Um, I don't know. It just it doesn't really hit for me, you know? Like, I don't care if this is Beyonce. I don't like it. I don't like the, the, the tactic. It just don't give. <laughs> it just don't give. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I just don't get it. All right, child. Moving on to Cardi B. Apparently, um, Cardi B, allegedly, she's about to get featured in the Billions Club. Now, Billions Club is a club where, like, you know, you have over multiple songs, over a billion streams on their platform, and they kind of give you, like, this, you know, this segment or whatever, um, this, like, achievement or whatever, and people just, you know, it's kind of like a little cute little award, a cute little title to have. Now, people are just calling her out because they're saying, like, girl, 
Atlantic definitely paid for those streams. So how are you getting Billions Club um, when you didn't even earn those streams? Now, no shade. The songs that, you know, have the Billions are like, you know, I Like It, um, Bodak Shitty. I'm sorry, Bodak Yellow. Um, you know, WAP, I believe, has it. You know, the songs like that. All right. Now, I feel like low key, the Billions Club to me doesn't matter much because, like, just because you, your song has a billion streams does not mean that you are impactful in the music industry at all. Okay. I'm being real with you. Like, I would never sit there and say, oh my gosh, her song has a billion streams. That means the song must be good. She must be talented. She must really have impact. That doesn't mean anything to me. Okay. Most people would think that, but that's not what I, that's not how I look at it as. Okay. Um, why is if WAP has a billion streams and you think that song is impactful into into the world? You think that's a positive song for the world? It's not. Okay, if you think WAP is a positive, happy song, you should um you know read a Bible. All right, read a Bible. Let's start there. Okay, I feel like after you hear that song, you need to cleanse your ears for about you know three years. All right, I'm still recovering from hearing that song back in 2020. Okay, that song is just awful. I mean, it's disgusting. And y'all got that song popular. Y'all got that song to number one. That's just nasty. That's just so disgusting to me. I will never forgive y'all for that. I will never forgive y'all for making WAP a thing. Like, and then y'all down the floor and humped your damn ass to the floor to this song? Yes, you're, you're, you're just as disgusting as Cardi B. Sorry, it's just, it's just nasty. But yeah, y'all, let's talk about that down below. Let's discuss, let's discuss, let's really get into it. Um, Let's really clock the T, all right? How y'all feel about that? Do you all feel like her streams are accurate are they really at a billion or is it all just paid streams yeah all righty all righty all righty i want to go ahead and give a big 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 congratulations to my sis um SZA. SZA has just made history y'all by being the first black woman to ever reach 7.9 billion streams on the spotify platform yes y'all heard that right the first black woman ever so congratulations to my girl SZA. um she has really really like you wouldn't think that she would end up at this this point. Like, who would have thought Sizzle would be the one to have these type of records to her name like that? Like, we kind of, I mean, in my personal opinion, I feel like Sizzle was always, like, left to center. Like, she was never really, like, you know, the main topic. I mean, she was always there, don't get me wrong, but, like, she was never, like, the it girl. Like, you know, but now Sizzle has become an it girl. Like, oh, my gosh, like, she's becoming, like, a, oh, my gosh, Sizzle. You know, it's like people are really, like, looking at her as like this person that like oh like oh SZA like oh you know what I'm saying like it's crazy like it's crazy how like she has become like just and it just took one album to really do that for her like that one album um SOS has changed the trajectory of her life in terms of her career it's crazy but no shade but you know she's been working at music for for decades now for decades so you know it's just a matter of time before your talent really get you to where you need to be at in life um just stay consistent just keep pushing you know you, if you gonna look up one day and you're you gonna have it all and then some and you're gonna look back like damn how did i get here you you know how you got there you worked your ass off for a long time so don't be shocked when you make it that's for everybody who try and do something in life don't be shocked when your time come because your time won't come just keep pushing okay so congratulations to SZA. congratulations to SZA. i'm proud of her she definitely doing her big one and, you know, I just love to see success for black people. I love to see us winning. It's just beautiful because, you know, for so many years, we got pushed out of the conversation. And for us to be in the conversation and we dominate in the conversation, I love it. I love to see it. Okay. But yes, y'all, all I have for you in today's video. If you made this far to the video and you're not subscribed, I will pinch your eyelash off your fucking eye. Please stop playing with me. Okay. Stop playing with me, yo myself i'm just playing i'm just <laughs> i'm just kidding y'all go ahead and subscribe i love you down and yeah y'all finna see you in the next video be safe